Okay, this video is for Dale to show him a uh, tracking example, auto guiding with PhD2, and how we can turn off the uh, auto guiding, disable the guide corrections, so that we can see what the mount behavior looks like. What what will the mount do unguided? But to establish a baseline, I'm here guiding as I normally do, and this is roughly about what I get, around half a second, half an arc second, uh, measured diagonally. In other words, you can see 0.3 in R, RA, that those are in arc seconds. 0.4 in uh, DEC uh, triangulates out to half an arc second. Okay, so let's go into the brain, the settings brain. And there are several tabs. The one we want is the guiding tab. Let me just move this off to the side. You'll see enable mount guide output. So I'm going to disable that. Click OK. And now let's watch what happens. Now my mount is still tracking fairly well, but if there were some issues with the mount itself, well, you see now it's uh, it's shows some deviating. So I have a deviant mount, but not too bad, actually, okay? It's now up to 0.9 arc seconds. A little bit of declination drift, and the RA rate is not quite what it could be. But rather than fine-tune that, that's why we auto-guide. So I'm going back into the PhD brain settings and re-enabling the mount guide output. And let's watch what happens. You can see the RA is catching up. The star is being tracked with the crosshairs. Here's another representation. Seeing is uh, not too bad. The only reason we have the, uh, the 3.6 arc seconds is the star is a little bit out of focus. But in looking at uh, seeing conditions, the star profile is pretty stable. Okay, you can see the guide uh, chart uh, is back on track. Reconverge, RA and DEC reconverge. Okay, so uh, play with that. Go ahead and disable and re-enable. We'll start a new session so you create a new log. Get it going and disable your, your uh, guide output before you start to guide, okay? All right, I'm going to stop this right about now. Thank you.